Okay. So, I will be running solo today, which means it's time for the wheel. The wheel shall spin. And I don't want to talk about it. I'm tired and my throat hurts. Let's go. Going to Dark Falls. Who are we going to Dark Falls with? That's not the wheel I wanted. Oh, where's the wheel I use? Okay, I can do that. Weird. Captures my mouse pretty, pretty easily. Alright, going full moral. That means I need to flag a Thor. Ultimate, yeah, I went ultimate. So we do V hard. Go into Dark Falls. character in forever. <clears throat> I have no need for this marina's bag because I am not healing anyone. This is specifically specifically for playing one out of the people. Just get rid of that. Is there anything to replace it? Put a look. Use of Adam, Flip Zimmies, Holy Ray. Caduceus. Mm. I need to get a bunch of ad slots for that. Huh. I have one. I need three more. Efficient power is huge on this. Defense power is huge on this. I'm using merges though, so I don't care. Uh, Hill of Blue's Cane increases bard damage, increases foley damage. Uh, hmm. Increases Grant's damage. Do I need that? No. I was planning on spamming Grant's. Do I need a Holy Ray? I don't think so. any of these, although these are all 40% for the respective spells, so I'm fighting falls, but level Conium wouldn't be bad just to have the maximum fire damage. Because it'll be just doing foey. So that moon's good, but it's just general purpose. Double Conium would be just uh, specifically for Dark Falls. For 40% damage rather than 30%, which would outpace the extra, what, 55 MST I get. Anyway, let's go. <clears throat> you fly now. So the moon's just gonna be my go-to for most spells because this... Can I really 
definitely gonna get more people higher level until, so I can just do everything in ultimate. That'd be fun. Are you alright, Claw? You should be dead. There's an early walker. Oh, that's only two shots. Shit. I wish I had a fire sucker Agni. do so much more damage. This is that much of a stronger spell. stuck in that rock and I couldn't hit him with a fully unfortunate <sighs> oh excuse me tea still boiling yeah no that's gonna burn me if I can try to drink it right now so I feel sick I feel incredibly cold which is never a good sign. for no reason. Yep. Could use a dive fluid and save that, that TP. Save that fluid, the tri fluid for later. Start streaming, right? Yeah, okay, good. 
I just have to double check because there have been times in the past where I have been talking to myself for two to three hours thinking I hit the start stream button. It's only happened twice, but it's still embarrassing. Which is why I don't want anyone to know about it. Especially not you guys. You special person on the internet like Smog Champ here. Smog, how's it going? I don't know, if today feels like one of those days where I would have forgotten to hit that button. <laughs> uh, what the hell is this? White Oak from... what did I get it from? Uh, Law Dominion? Or is it a So Dominion? It was a Dominion of some kind. Um, I'm thinking that's a Disco of Liberator or something. It's a disc of some kind, it feels like. I woke up in my bed and I'm like, um, no. <laughs> um, no, actually. You're going to die today? You can't get out of bed. I'm so fucking tired. I had to stay late at work. This isn't the reason why I'm tired. Uh, I just stayed late at work uh, because I was doing training. And training takes fucking forever. So the new person that I have that needs me to train them, I uh, got their training. Uh, but it was definitely after midnight before we got done. See anything here? It's just scam. Deep end one way, huh? I'll be picking up on the mic so well today just because I'm fucking not talking loud. My throat hurts like hell. So talking is already bad. Which is why I'm talking about explaining about it while I'm talking it. And it hurts. Smart. I know, right? I'm a genus. Part of that human genus. So I made some tea, put a fuck ton of honey in it, to hopefully help with my sore throat. So I don't know if that's accurate. I 
thing that changed the number of casts. Let's we'll find out next time we see one of those guys. Alright, this way I can't accidentally hit them. Definitely reduce the number of casts on these guys by one. Nope, doesn't change the number of dominions. So it's just the uh just the dull sabers that get one less cast of Roberta. I could just shoot normal Barda at them. Look at that ripper. Alright, time to see which disc it was. My guess is Liberator. Alright, it was a disc of... Chaos. Okay, that's not the one I expected, but... It was a Liberator. Same special. Fire just finished food, I'll be right back.
I gotta sit down. Get out of the way, footpad. Hello, bar stool. That's dangerously close to fucking shattering the moment I move on it. This thing is not safe anymore to sit on, so that's why I'm sitting on it. I've had it for almost eight years, though, so. Surprised it hasn't shattered yet. Definitely, definitely dangerously keeping the wrong side. DP there. Every time I blink, I want to, like, keep my eyes closed. Like, I actually feel myself blinking. I'm conscious of it. Every time my eyes close, it just feels like, oh, it's time to sleep. I just don't feel well. Ugh. I wish I could call in the work today. Unfortunately, I need to go in. Not because they need me to train, but just simply because we only have two people and I can't just call in and expect someone else to cover my shift. I could if I really, really didn't care, but I ain't doing that to my team. Not yet. I'm not that sick of them. Fucker. Jerk. Making me wait. Is it ice in those guys? I thought I'd put the rib and the give merge on. Oops. It gives merge. Just clicks. Terrible miss clicks. Holy shit. Mm, I'm not doing so hot today. hit an invisible trap that didn't trigger. I'm sad.
to any of my techs except grants and I'm not spamming that. Legitimately, how? I have no idea how that guy managed to shoot a laser while he was being consistently hit by these bullies. materials. Nine more death. Oh. Oh. Oh, Saka. I'm fucking dying. <sighs> Apologies. Well, I didn't think that was that bad off. Holy fuck. trying not to, man, but I tell you, work is killing me. I don't know if it's even safe for me to drive to work with how fucking bad I'm at right now. The confetti! Ray! I think I should have just slept in today. If I'm being real honest right now, I'm not in a good state of mind to be awake at this exact moment. Hmm. 
You've never seen deathmatch being used for it? I'm sure, Sonic, if you've watched the stream, you've probably definitely seen a defense map be used at least once. Because they're definitely material. <clears throat> that, and defense materials are needed to get character to maximum status. To, to get the gold stats. Once I hit the soft cap, I don't need them anymore. Hello, Justin McCarthy. You missed this game. Me too. <laughs> we'll never get another game like this ever again. I don't care about them. Well, I usually pile up and get mine mats. Well, of course I'm gonna pound to those. Those are the literal basis of the literal basis of all damage. But no reason not to pop a defense mat if you find one, because that's just straight up damage reduction. I mean, you could pop only power mats if you wanted to, but I don't really care for that on my long-term characters. I'd like to plan it out a little bit better. If it's like, if it's a character I'm going to not use ever again, then yeah, definitely pound it, whatever. The only ones I won't do even on those characters are evasion mats. In evasion mats I use uh, sparingly because I have to follow a material plan to get stats to the max. Even this character needs a couple evasion mats to get max stats. Mega 9. Wait, that's an upgrade. I got Mega 9. Hooray! That beats my, what, Mega 4? Oh, shit. Alright, mind mats. A handy dandy notebook. It's supposed to be blue. Apparently, uh, the chroma key is working. Mind how much I'm at? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. I need 88, so this will be 56. up almost 10,000 Masetta off of Masetta drops alone? Holy shit.
Weak ass ambush. Is that funny? <laughs> that would be kind of funny. <clears throat> always played ranger <laughs> yeah it took me a while to get used to playing a force i always played ranger myself growing up oh actually no i played hunter first and then after my first memory card corruption i switched from a humar to a ramar and then that's when i fell in love with the class it's just like why the fuck was i never playing this before it's so fun like that Stop it. Back. Get back here. Get out of the wall. But yeah, honestly, forces are... You think they're slow early on, but they're actually very fast early on because magic don't miss. If you want to go fast, you choose a force. The only thing that forces are slow at are just the fact that you have... The, you need TP, so you need to constantly go back and forth uh, from the store and the game to go get fluids. But their damage output isn't anything but slow. <laughs> Split screen and go up with your homie back in the day. Nice. Yeah. I grew up with this game uh, playing it with my brother and a friend of mine. And... We played the absolute shit of this game. My friend played the Phonoom. Uh, cause he had an afro. <laughs> the only reason he chose that guy. Uh, I and my brother were both Humars. And, oh man, we had a lot of fun. My brother always wanted to be player one for some reason, so I always let him. And it ended up working out in our favor, cause he was a Skyli. And we didn't know, I had no idea about color IDs having, uh, drop tables or anything back then. So we kept getting these good things, and then whenever I played solo, I'd always find different items than what he found. Like, he found a chainsaw when we hit ultimate at some point. So, uh, I went to farm the enemies we found it off of on my character, Solo. <laughs> Yellow Bow's Humar did not find a chainsaw off of those enemies, and I was super confused. Never did realize it was because drop tables. Alright, so I spun the wheel, and my full marl is going to Dark Falls. Let's do this. Phonies, ATP is still too low. Yeah, Excalibur is an all-class weapon on Blue Burst that everyone can use, except for Phony, because uh, Phony World has not enough ATP, which is really fucking dumb. Like, she still has the ability to equip it if she could increase her attack power any further. Uh, 
Stormwind. If I stand in the right spot, I can hit all three heads. I don't know if I'm hitting them because I can't see the damage numbers because they there's the split. This on the ground. That. With a with a high enough level, uh, uh, Gizonde or Gizonde, however you want to pronounce it, you can hit multiple heads, which will do multiple points of damage to the boss, which is what I was doing there. And now single target damage because not monthly targets. Oh, not close enough for the Barda. Boy. how much I need to survive this, so I'm gonna heal. I had more than enough. Alright, easy. And now I switch to the Club of Laconium, because the Club of Laconium does 10% more damage uh, with Foey than this weapon does. Although this weapon does have 55 more MST. But I think the 10% damage boost is stronger. So 61... 273. Barely. It barely. That's so dumb. This barely beats it out. Missed the rest of dodge. Uh, that was a dumb joke. I, you know, someone's gonna believe me once I say that eventually. It, the rest of dodging doesn't exist. And to explain the joke, there was a long time ago a player, uh, not just one, but multiple players thought you could uh, dodge damage by casting Resta frame perfectly. Because Resta would give you iframes. It doesn't. Resta does not give you iframes. What they were doing was they were getting hit by an attack. And then Rusta, as soon as they got up, and they couldn't take damage because they had iframes. My guess is that uh, rumor came about because uh, version 3 had iframes. The Dreamcast didn't have iframes. That hit me? Really? Good thing I resisted it. I was running. I didn't think it was going to touch me. Don't cast there, because while your soul is being returned to you kindly from falls, uh, you still take damage for some fucking reason, even though she no longer has your soul. Fuck you, that was the last hit, too. And I got hit fucking just barely enough to not... Bitch, give me my soul back. Oh, we did it. Do I care about picking anything up? No. All right, save quit. Next roulette. Next wheel. And I gotta figure a way to. To make that capacity a capacitor. Who am I playing? Rockcast? Um I'll figure that out later. Okay, we're going on Rockcast. Am I on two feet's memory card already? Yes. Alright, we rockcast. Oh, 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 wait, hold up. Before Before I do that. Mm. Gotta plug in the other controller. And I gotta just reach down. Alright. Mm. 
Where the fuck is the hole? Sorry. It's hard to find it without looking. So we're doing raw cast. Why is it not fucking... The boss we are going to go to is... Volop! Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna get the actual damage weapon for the character two feet. I've been putting this character through the ropes without this weapon up to this point. I don't know if I can find it. Sippy shot, there you are. I have a quarter needle. I need to get more photon drop or photon crystals to be able to put Zalor on that. Uh, is there anything else I need to get him? No. Ooh, wait. This is the perfect time to unload my materials onto him. Usually I'd put all these materials onto a... ...different character. Drop that. First of all, can I use any HP mats? I don't keep track of HP mats. Should just auto sort this, yeah? No. No? Alright, I don't need this iron fast anymore. Because I have a sippy shot now. I'm gonna keep it in the inventory for now. I'll figure out when I actually get to the other character. Uh, but now, time for the most boring things you guys have seen in a while material dropping. Drop all the rest of the pod materials. Uh, I need to check my actual handy dandy guide. What do I need for my raw cast for power? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 73. I only need three power mats. Okay. So I am going gold stats on all characters. That will max out my power, so yeah, 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 73, 74, 75, 76. 74, 75, 76. Check mark that's done. So defense materials are done, uh, power materials are done. I only need luck materials. Two god abilities and the luck in max luck materials. I have what five, ten, 
14 luck materials and two god abilities. God abilities are 20, yes? Yeah, 20. So they're 20, 40, plus 14. 20, 40... Plus 14. I can't number. 54. No, 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 that's 28. Plus 28. So 20, 40, 68. Plus 10, 78. That makes sense. All right, luck mats are two luck, not one. Um, push on. And Bima was the one I was leveling up for my Hue Casio. Um, which is Dex 60. So I need 10 decks on her. Which means I need Antidotes. I think. I could look this up. Or I could just gamble. Antidotes, they work. Yeah, antidotes it is. It lowers my IQ, but that's fine. I don't care about that. So you here and so you there. All right, I sorted out to go fight Volop with this sippy shot. And I don't have Volop unlocked in ultimate difficulty, so I'm gonna have to do very, very hard. Um, wait. Anything else I need before I move? Do I have luck mats? Wait, how much is that 25 luck mats? I go to 25 luck mats on this. So 20, 40, I have 28, 68. One more will put me up to what, 10, 20, 30? One more will put me up to 80. And then, is that all the luck mats I really want to use on him? I think that might be all the luck mats I want to use. Uh, specifically because if I do that, if I get the red ring onto two feet, if I earn his own uh, red ring, then I can. then I don't need it because red ring gives me plus 20 luck and because luck is a hard cap stat regardless of what items you use it will cap at 100 no matter what and I think the red ring's 20 yeah red ring is 20 it's 20 on everything so yeah I am actually hard capped on luck if I want a red ring assuming I keep two god abilities otherwise I could pump Five more luck materials into two feet. Take off one of the god abilities and put the rest of the mats into power, death, and evasion. But I am allotted four extra material slots, as my current count uh, says. But that's only assuming I get gold stats without a red ring. Uh, so all my, mat my, all my notes uh, are listed uh, for without a red ring. else I want to give this guy. Boy. Good luck ability. Black shield DB. Custom frame. Or on. One glory DB sword. Guilty light. Single barrel hands. Ugh. Excuse me. No, I think I'm good. Yep. Alright, we're good. The gooch. Oh, mag time. Fucking mag, we're always hungry. Okay, that was a little bit of a. Whoop. Little bit of a sidetrack, but we got there. Oh man, diamonds for the rest of my days. So the hard part about this Bima is it's not gonna be very smart by the time I get to 60 decks. So I'm going to have to feed it something that gives power and IQ. <laughs> Alright. 
We did it. I got my sippy shot onto the correct character, finally. All right, we go vol up with two feet. And I don't have him unlocked in ultimate because I don't have a way to beat Da Ralai. <laughs> I don't have a reliable way to defeat Da Ralai, nor do I have the stats to beat him. I can get to him very easily, but I don't have the stats to actually beat the boss. This is the one character where I think I can fight in enemies easily because Ranger, I'm a robot, so I have traps and I have a frozen shooter. And I have this needle that does hell damage. And I have this spread needle that paralyzes everything. And then I have all this other stuff in here as well. Also, the spread needle is useless against robots because they don't uh, paralyze. Kind of. I went to forest. Whoops. It's, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Ugh. So this guy's damage is based purely on special attacks. My physical damage itself is terrible. If I were to equip a better mag, it would be less terrible. But the problem with that is I wouldn't be able to equip anything then. This is what, without this, what do I have? 184 and 187. I need to equip most of these. I'd be able to equip the spread needle still. Oh, right, this is V hard, so I don't steal the full 120. Max is 90. Oh, well, that's still fine. Still does decent damage. Do I just try to help things? It's episode one, so it's not likely. But it is hell. is working so well. I don't even have a 502 unit on. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot this is dumb. This is fucking dumb. Max ATA on a uh, raw cast, excuse me. Max, a Max ATA on a raw cast with a hell special. Anything under uh, ultimate difficulty is fucking stupid. And even in ultimate difficulty, I can just fucking RNG my way past. It's not hard. Or how dumb this was. Yeah, 
It's a little bit of a shame that I don't have ultimate mode unlocked. Because I could do the same thing there. It just takes a bit longer. Wow. Okay, I, this is this is very hard. I forgot. I do damage. I already do damage with certain weapons. I don't need to. Man. I don't need to heal everything, but I want to. Got those guys. Oops. <laughs> Why I carry this weapon around with me? It's so dumb. I'm not even holding it correctly. I mean, look at this fucking thing. I'm not even in his hand. Mostly. What is he holding on to? He's just holding his left arm out like, I'm gonna catch it, I'm gonna catch it, I'm gonna catch it. They needed to work on these animations a little bit more. They weren't done cooking yet. They put it back in the oven. Shouldn't have locked the uh, Iron Foss, Gigu, Bazooka, and the Nugs. I think they were guessing the weapons were too strong, or wanted to be more realistic, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I, I kind of agree. Having this weapon fucking combo locked for no apparent reason other than fuck the player is dumb. Dumb as shit. I mean, this is stupid itself. Just the fact that it can one-shot everything with a special attack. I mean, this was kind of intended, but I think they could have balanced it better. He's so OP. Yep. Uh, and I'm really going to regret going to work today. I think I caught what's going around to work. So there have been multiple people 
really fucking sick at work. And they've been just coughing around the office, not wearing a mask. Just, I don't, I don't fucking get it. How can people be so fucking stupid? They're sick. They should stay home, right? No, if they come work. But I understand the sentiment. You need money. You need to earn a paycheck. But cover your mouth. Cover your fucking mouth. You're not a fucking five-year-old. You're not a child. Just fucking don't make everyone else sick. Don't take the goddamn ship down with you because you're too fucking stupid to not cover your mouth. I'm infuriated with the people I fucking work with. Work around. Not to mention the guy that thinks he's into video games has discovered, uh... Oh, what was it? Dragon's Dogma? He finally played the first game, not the second one. Uh, he played the first game for the first time, uh, yesterday. And then he asked me if I knew anything about it, and he wanted to show off his knowledge and prowess, and I was like, okay, kid, you, you can have your moment. Fucking... Uh... I don't know. I needed to talk about something. Just sitting here being miserable. Feeling miserable. Not actually being miserable, but feeling feeling bad about being sick. Feeling sick? I don't even know if I'm sick, honestly. I just don't feel good. <laughs> uh, definitely the tea that I made helps with my throat a little bit. Well, that's good. Took the edge off a little bit. Oh, hey, there's two of them. Hey, there's none of them. My bad, I was wrong. Bouchon's gonna take it. I forgot how much I hate this feeding table. It's the same feeding table as a uh, Sato. <laughs> and I love feeding Sato's and raising Sato's, but this is a fucking Bouchon and a Bima. I don't know why I'm suffering with <laughs> that. It's fine. The longer it takes, the less likely I'll be able to use it. Well, yeah, I hope everyone else is having a wonderful Saturday. Weekend. Day. I don't, I don't know. Week, week, work, work day? I I have work today. I don't like working today. Saturday work sucks. But it's also the best day to work because that means I don't have to come in the next day. Why can't every day be like that? Hmm. I was in range for the first shot, and then it didn't actually shoot. I'm confused as to why that's allowed. Thank you, game. I make these rooms look really easy, don't I? I can assure you they're the most dangerous things in the world. Don't trust what you see, because this is... This is a professional. I'm a trained professional, and I know how to handle a hell weapon. You could hurt yourself if you handle it incorrectly.
Do, do not try this at home, kids. I am a trained professional and very much know how to handle this. That was a close one. Dude, I haven't even gotten a single level yet, and that's three, four feeds. <laughs> All the IQ on that mag. Oh, that poor bag. This is gonna be so stupid. Wait, why did I get the. Not a flowing sword. I'm a Viridia. I got that from a uh, from a guild chick. Whatever. Um. I don't think he'll die. Alright, needles should be able to hit all four screens at the same time, allowing me to stack tons of damage. So what I'm doing here is I am slowing down my shots to be able to hit all the monitors at the same time. Every time he makes that noise and winces in pain, uh, yep, he's uh, taking direct damage to his core. Realistically, it'd be much faster just to break all the monitors, or not all the monitors, uh, to break all of the pillars. But I like that strat. When I figured that strat out, I think that's what I've done since I was a kid, and I didn't ever actually just think to break the pillars. And so when people told me, why don't you break the pillars, I'm like, that's possible. <laughs> and everyone else is just like, your method is fucking stupid. But hey, it works. Actually, my heavy attacks do more damage than the, the suck. <laughs> I guess I didn't really have much to worry about. Right! Very hard. forget how easy it is to get to the boss. <coughs> Excuse me. I forget how easy it is to get to the boss and then how weak the boss actually is. Like, getting the boss is supposed to be the challenge. It, it's... <laughs> it's not. Also, I, I feel like I can put the Iron Faust away. I don't need it. Like, yeah, it does good damage. But th this just sucks. More. Thought the eggs aren't even hangry. It's a bionic. Oh! Okay. I forgot about this thing. Useless. It's not useless. It's just not useful. If it's not useful, it's useless. Alright, next boss, and next character. 
Actually, here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... Why the fuck is the... Come on. Just save the goddamn list. Why is it not there? Alright, whatever. I should have not saved and quit. It could have landed on... Okay, we're on phone now. Going to memory card one, we're playing on tech. My official nuker. And we're going... Why the fuck can't it stay open? There it goes. No, I already have that file saved. Alright, never mind. Boss! Where are we going? I was hoping for the dragon. God damn it. Alright, going to Dark Falls. Um, I don't have ultimate unlocked for- I don't have the ultimate ruins unlocked for him yet, I don't believe. I can go check. I think I just restored him to his former glory and then I never fucking played on him again. So he's very much, uh... Level. Not low level, just lower level than what I could be. I do have a 30 shift of D-band. What the fuck? Why do I only have 29 on some of my other characters? I have materials. I have materials. Oh, I have an ad slot. Gel uh, Gelwind. The description is terrible. Scythe God. Zoning Merge. Zoning Merge. Empty mags. Escape bells. Yeah. So probably Psycho Wand. So I guess I'll show this off. If people haven't seen a Psycho Wand in its special property with my unique Force Sato. Also, I don't for some reason don't have a force taking. Let's do that. That increases my thing. Okay. 723. Okay, what happens if I take that off, actually? It's that little bit of a damage increase. Okay, whatever. But you may notice that I'm dying every time I cast a spell. The Psycho Wand, uh, true to its name, is Psycho. What it does is it shares the uh, TP cost of a spell with half of your health. Five eighty-seven. Now if I put the rad mark on, six ninety-seven. <laughs> Hundred increase in damage. If I had a, I would prefer to have like a Rafoi merge. So this character, anyone watched the my full Marl saw my damage. I wasn't doing bad damage at all. But yeah, if you want to know how I'm doing so much damage, uh, so the combination that I'm running uh, has a lot of multipliers. So Red Merge increases all foe type damage by 20%. Yes, this is very hard. Uh, I rolled to fight the boss Dark Falls, and I don't have Dark Falls unlocked on Ultimate on this character. I'm going to have to go do that at some point. He can very much handle it already. I just don't have her available, and I don't feel like playing for an hour when I only have half an hour to play. If I didn't have to go to work, if only work didn't exist. You guys could help change that. With your support, I could be a fucking slob. I mean, a streamer. But anyway, the multipliers. Back to the back to the explanation. Uh, this character, the character I'm playing, this uh, phone Newman, has a 30% damage boost to Gi techniques and raw techniques. 
the hard and the advanced, the, the normal and hard attacks. Uh, so 30% damage plus that. 20% damage from the, uh, specifically to fully techniques, from the red merge. And then the Psycho Wand increases raw tech damage by another 30%, if I'm not mistaken. So, I could get another 10% damage if I had a raw fully merge, which would increase my damage a little more. I think I'd be closer to 800. But yeah, the damage numbers you see here are actually possible to get. Uh, in ultimate mode. Single player, unfortunately. Alright, I just have Jizz on the wind. 623. I did 623 damage with only 20% boost. I mean, that's just because I have a ton of MST, but still, normal fully hitting that hard is still pretty good. And normal Sunday. This guy's a little more resistant. Plus, I don't have the damage boost, so I'll just not use it. You've been missing out? Oh, I'm glad to hear that it sounds like you're enjoying it. Yeah, forces, all the forces are really fun to play, in my opinion. Every one of them has a unique playstyle that they can fit into, just thanks to their special uh, damage bonuses each one pains. Like, Full Marl, specifically, mostly specifically made to be a support character. And it's fairly obvious, given that she has plus rest to range, plus anti-range. And it also shifted the band range, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember everything off the top of my head. But she gets a lot of range increases for her sp uh, support spells. Plus 50% to extra bonus damage to Grants. Uh, for some reason. Why Grants? I don't know. I guess they needed to have her have some kind of increase in damage. A full uh, Numi. A uh, full, uh, yeah, full Neural female Numen force gets plus 30% bonus damage to her simple tech, so Bardazon de Foley. So you do a lot of fucking damage with that, plus the highest MSC cap in the game. So she can already just burst things down naturally with magic, which is fantastic, if you want to go full nuke. I always build my, my forces full nuke, because whenever I play a force, it's specifically because I want to cast the spells. I don't want to do some silly little hybrid class. <laughs> However, if you are looking for a hybrid class, Fo Newman and Fo Mar are actually really good for those. Fo Mar is pretty much just a cleric. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, Fo Mar gets a 30% damage boost to his B techniques, as well as a 30% damage bonus to, uh, to Grants. So, he also is kind of like a cleric, I guess. I guess you could say he's more like a paladin, just very squishy. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta blow my nose, give me one sec. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, for me, I like to play as a nuke. I'm a glass cannon, very much the words of it, especially with a psycho wand. <laughs> Having the ability to reduce the cost of your spells by 50% is amazing. However, in the GameCube, there's only two ways to do that. Or, yeah, there's only two ways to reduce the cost of spells in GameCube. There's the Psycho Wand, and then I believe there's also the, uh... The Sorcerer's Rod should also do that, and then Sorcerer's Rod also boosts all Gi tech damage by, I think it was at 20%? I might have those numbers wrong off the top of my head, but... I'm fairly certain it also reduces TP costs uh, for a Sork Wand, plus Gi damage. So that, if you want to make like a faux mar nuke or put that on the faux noom, you can just do gi tech nuking. I have this guy set up for raw tech nuking. <laughs> Although I do need a foyer of rough, I need a barda. Eh? Oh my god, I can't talk anymore. I would start talking and my throat hurts and then I lose words. I'm buffering. Give me a sec. I need an amplifier of rafoi. I don't have one, which is why I have the Amplifier of Red. 
which is good and all. Let's see. But definitely leaves something to be desired. All right, 521. What's my Raz do? Fort. Yeah, he's not always just hits harder. Let's see what I do with the Storm Wand. Storm Wand increases all Zonde attacks by 20%. So it's not that big of damage increase. But it is a damage increase. Wanna see a hybrid phony? There are people who play who do play hybrid phony. Uh, basically, you will play her as like kind of a pseudo ranger, more or less. And the reason you'd play her as a ranger is because phony actually has the highest attack accuracy of all the forces in the game. So if you can get her to have a holy ray, or if you can uh, use the bringer's rifle, bringer's rifle would be fantastic on her. with that. But yeah, even though she has the highest attack accuracy of all the forces, you still need hit on a weapon to hit things late game. You've played, uh, you've never enjoyed casting Gifoy, it's just too slow and Gibarta feels something really bad for you. Uh, you've tried Fomar and it just wasn't feeling it, phoned him all day. Yeah, that's fair. Here's the thing though. Uh, if you're playing with uh, Gifoy, Gifoy is very much a setup spell. You need to set it up really far in advance. It's very powerful late game. It does a ton of damage late game. If you don't have any bonuses, it technically has the highest damage uh, for multi-targets. Rafoy is just a quick insta-target spell. So it does that, and you don't have to worry about shit. Uh, Gifoy, you definitely need to set it up, but it is fun. It's good against enemies that, uh, in my opinion, it's good against enemies that don't spawn instantly, and you need to set up for them. We got these traps out of the way. So say, like, gunners. Gunners would be a good target for them, because you can just keep spamming Gifoy and they'll run into it eventually. Alternatively, you could also just cast Gizonde. <laughs> and it works just the same. Yeah, Gifoy does have a use. Uh, there is a specific case use in Episode 2. If you are familiar with the enemy spawns in Episode 2, you can use it to set up for a uh, Dark Bringer's Charge. Or no, Delbiter. Wow. Delbiter and Dirtbringer, same thing, right? Uh, so a Delbiter will charge at you as his spawning animation, and it is an attack. So you can set up with a Gifoy, and if you cast the Gifoy and hit with it, uh, it will stop him in his tracks. And you can do it to the Chaos Bringer as well. It'll do this. So you can set it up and then just like prepare for the charge or start spamming your simple text. And it lasts and lingers for such a long time where people get hit by it and they can get stunlocked. Or alternatively, if you want to troll your friends online, uh, you can spam it and damage cancel all their attacks and they'll never be able to hit a monster or kill them. And they wonder if they were ever strong to begin with. I like casting it against claws, specifically because if you hit a claw, they have a short, a short uh, invulnerability period for whatever fucking reason. And uh, a Gifoe will just sit there and linger until they're targetable again. Fucker still church through. <laughs> well, it's supposed to stop them. I've had it where it stops them like most of the time. It's not always guaranteed, unfortunately. But I've I've had better success rate than not. And then onto the thing about Gibarda. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> That's just the the long and short of it. Gibarda sucks. Oopsie. There is a way to make Gibarda better. Uh, in the Dreamcast version of the game, Gibarda is actually a really fun spell because it shoots as fast as Gizande. So having a Gibar an ice Gibarda spell, the cone uh, shot, I call it the shotgun, basically, because it's a big cone of ice. What the hell's that? 
whatever. But big cone of ice plus very fast shooting equals very much damage on a very large uh, group of enemies or even a boss. Uh, in GameCube, they nerfed it. They nerfed that casting speed, but didn't increase anything else about it. So it just sucks. <laughs> its damage is still mediocre and you're just better off just using uh, normal Barda if you can line them up properly. Or just spam raw Barda because it's just better. <laughs> Like in this case, I do have a patch for Shotgun Gibarda on GameCube. Someone did go through and recode it to actually shoot it very fast, so I can do this. And you think that would be very helpful and useful. It's not. Unfortunately, it's not. Barda and Raw Barda are just still better. Yeah, I know, right? That is the same speed as the how the Dreamcast used to be able to cast it. Like, if you ever played version 1 or version 2, version uh, 1 and 2 are Dreamcast. Not exclusive to Dreamcast, uh, but version 1 is exclusive to Dreamcast. Version 2 is Dreamcast and PC. There's a PSO PC, which is version 2. And that's the speed of Giberta. The reason it's bad on that console, or on that generation of the game, that patch of the game, uh, is... It, it's a little... It's not how you expect it. So, uh, Forces didn't have the Technique boost uh, on the Dreamcast. They had pure MST, and Techniques were calculated more heavily on MST than they are in this game. They tried to rebalance the spells on GameCube. <laughs> I don't know if it worked. I still find it fun, but yeah, the, the damage calculations for Magic were definitely different from this version of the game from the first. And then they kept this version going forward into Blue Burst, which actually they copied the Xbox games code uh, for Blue Burst. Shit, that's what I was worried. All right, uh, gives merge. So some may have noticed that I haven't used a single uh, fluid to refill my TP outside of just picking up ones I find on the ground. Psycho one. Getting double the amount of casting you can do is insane. I literally double my TP bar by holding this weapon. The only problem is I have to watch my health because if I die, I lose it all, you know? <laughs> it's not really much of a problem though. It's more of a problem on the higher difficulty because I get hit harder. This difficulty I can just kind of meh. Even though I'm the squishy force, I can just still meh through it. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, so this Psycho Wand I have, I need to farm up another one. And it's not because this one's bad, but I don't feel like I've earned this one. Back when I was still an affiliate on Twitch, I had things that allowed uh, people in chat to turn on cheats. Or decide to turn on cheats for my runs. And so someone turned on a lot of rare enemies and almost guaranteed drops. So I went and found up the Psycho Wand and all the other rare enemy weapons that I could get <laughs> during for the duration of that uh, that redemption for the code. And now that I have it, it feels bad. <laughs> I don't think I should count it, and I should find a legit one before I just keep using it. Which is primarily the reason I don't play this guy all that often. I could just choose to bank it, but I have it. You ha Once you have this, there's no going back. You're fucking stuck in this infinite loop of, I don't have enough TP, I need this weapon. Uh, I do need to farm up a Sork Wand, though. I need to figure out what class to get that.
May use the second one. Yeah, maybe I'll probably use the second one to grind real one. Here's the problem. I'm a Redria. I need to go on my purple num, who is now a reset raw marl. Uh, she's level like 17 or 18. <laughs> I will definitely try to farm up, up legit, but it will not be anytime soon. Ow. Quit it. A way to get both these guys targeted from directly in front of them. Can I do this? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked, to be honest. But the spell didn't cast, excuse me? Dude, even without the amplifier of red, <laughs> well, even without the red merge, I'm doing a ton, ton of damage. Oh, uh, you tried to do TTF on all the... Okay, so Sonica, uh, dot raw lie. Uh, the weakness may surprise you. It's weak to lightning, but only in the face. So you, if you have a high level Zonde, <laughs> it will not help you. <laughs> you can spam Foey to try and get the kill. Dude, I have Giz on my bar and I keep forgetting to use it. Here's what I'm gonna do. Customize that to Zonde, because I actually just forget. <laughs> Is that a Power Ranger symbol? God, that's great. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so the Daralai, the ultimate level worm, is weak to Foey on the body. On the GameCube version, I should say. I don't know about Dreamcast, but the GameCube version of the game, it's weak to Foey on the body. But the weakness to Foey, it's still resistant to like 90% damage of fire. So that's not very helpful. What you want to do is cast Gizande at the face. And the reason I say at the face uh, with Gizande is because Zande will target the first body section and not the face. For whatever reason, the targeting is broken. Because it's so long, the segment that you're trying to aim at will never be aimed at. There's a very... It, it's very specific where you need to stand and which direction you need to face to get Zande to hit the face. So you can't even use that bonus damage, and it's really fucking annoying. But yeah, Daralai, uh, if you don't have physical damage and you are spamming force techniques, Zande the face. Oh, right, that's also one player mode. What the fuck is multiplayer then? Right, so what I just said may not apply to your uh, to your attempt because I'm sorry, I'm a one player club. <laughs> it's impossible to hit anything but the neck. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> That's how the game works. It was intentional game design. Thanks, Sega. Do I have anything fun up here? I don't know to be disappointed or impressed. Uh, what does Day Relay have? A big neck. Did hit them all. All right, hands up. Who thought that was gonna get hit there? Hey, put your hand down. Oh, hey, didn't get unequipped. So I'm confused. So I'm gonna stop this guy right before he hits me, and he'll, in fact, actually hit me. Right, this isn't ultimate mode. This is V-Hard, I don't have to be scared. I'm not scared. Couldn't seem to do the screen lock with Gazande, like the damn thing kept moving if you timed it. Oh, were you trying to use Gizande on uh, Volop's screen? 
Um, that's mostly to be done with a weapon. Uh, with Gizande, if you're gonna use techniques, that's a little bit different how you want to fight. Oh my god, where's my fucking trap visions? I don't have a trap vision. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna jizz on this guy really quick. Give me a sec. Bugger. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ellie. <laughs> it's not my choice. I have a job to do, so I either have to stream now or I have to stream after work. And after work uh, isn't going to be the best for me because I don't think everyone's going to be here. Today you learned Poison Lily Spit outranges level one, Barda. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. What did I even zap? Excuse me, game. Early Walker, be gone. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Uh. All right, I believe I was talking about uh, Volop screens. If you want to do the screen lock with uh, Gazande or with Magic, so, magic doesn't actually affect the screens as well as physical damage does. Uh, if you're gonna spam techniques against, uh, against, uh, full op, so the screens are not his actual health pool. You need to have some kind of physical damage to back up the health pool. The magic damage calculated to vol op is based on your attack power, not your MST. However, if you manage to outrange the screen, there is a hitbox in the back uh, behind the screen for Volop where you can hit him with a big AoE target spell. Like you can hit him with a Rafoe Blast, a uh, Rebarda Blast, a Rosande Blast. It will go beyond the wall and hit that. If you're in the right spot, you can hit him with Gizande. But I don't know where to, uh, to, to do that consistently with Gizande. There is a spot to do it. Uh, you can do it with uh, bar normal Barda. You can do it with Gee Barda. You can do it with Gee Foy. Uh, Zonde doesn't target that hitbox, so it's not possible, to my knowledge, with normal Zonde. Uh, and then uh, Foy just hits the screen. It just hits the wall, so that's not possible. Unfortunately. So what you'll want to do is what I mentioned, uh, get the big AOE spell and stand close to the screen if it's a lower level. Uh, you want to hit his outside hitbox with the spell if you're trying to go for like the health kill. Otherwise, as a force, your best strategy is to kill the pillars. And that's what you'll have to do. If you want to kill Volop phase one easily, as a force, kill the pillars. Doing the strats I mentioned to hit his hitbox outside of the map with a big spell um, only works if you have a high enough level spell. And you have to stand where his head is. So his, his, his the hitbox outside of the arena is should be behind where the face is floating. So you have to follow that face to be able to hit that outside hitbox. But it also probably takes more magic to kill that, that hitbox than it does to kill the pillars. So, it's up to you. In ultimate mode, definitely pillars. <laughs> Regardless of what your thing is, definitely pillars. If you want to be like that, that hybrid melee force thing, um, there is a Fomar or a Fonum setup you can use to do that. I wouldn't recommend it. I almost died because I forgot I was dying. Oh, it's the same weaknesses. It's just they're super buffed up. <laughs> so Zonde the first phase, Bard of the second phase, and Foley the third phase. But the resistances are like 60 to 70%. 
So you're not gonna have a good time. And especially if you're doing uh, the multiplayer, uh, the resistances are even worse. I don't know why I hit Zonde there. I want to grab. Okay, I do 492. What do I do with this? Thir uh, 35. What's the some moon? 469. Nice. Let's just show this off of shits and giggles. Oh, the damage is kind of pitiful. Yeah, so normal Barda and raw Barda just do more damage than key Barda. It's a little sad. So that cast speed is literally based on the uh, on the technique level. <laughs> I have level 30 techniques thanks to the uh, uh, thing I have on. Oh shit, right. Um, maybe not use the Psycho Wand for this part. <laughs> Let's not kill myself trying to kill him. I should have brought a club Luconium. Did I have one? I don't remember. I only have 30% basic tech damage with this wand. Or to cane, excuse me. What do I do with Raphoid? Oh, no way to find out now. I'm gonna tank this. Yeah, I work on Saturday. So I have to actually get going in about seven minutes. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna die! <laughs> I can't stop! Okay, that was a terrible strategy. Using Gifoy. Uh, using Gifoy there fucked me. <laughs> I'll tank it. Oh, I should run. This is very hard. This is level 15 mega to kill me. Oh, no, it's Grants. What? Oh, because I died! It's because I died. I died so. Uh, so he didn't have my soul anymore. Damn it. He's almost dead anyways. Got him. The only thing you don't think you have trouble with is the dragon, because ice dragon there for fire. I mean, yeah, true. I mean, Gizande works great against the Ice Dragon if you're offline. Any boss with multiple segments, Gizande works great against. Uh, because multi hits are great. But of course, Dragon online, uh, Gizande only will do one instance of damage because weird glitch. But yay, we did it! <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I, I could have taken this to ultimate. I really could have, but I need to unlock the ruins and ultimate on this character again. That character was an unfortunate uh, recipient of memory card corruption, so I had to remake him, and then I kind of used cheats just to get him back up to his previous level. So I don't have all the areas unlocked like he used to. <laughs> I will have to go back and unlock them at some point. George, can you pay for my paycheck today then? How much money am I going to make? Um, it's a Saturday. So I make like 32, 30 something an hour. I work 10 hours. Can you pay me like $500 today? <laughs> I will call in sick. I promise you. You can pay Nusetta. I'm sorry, George. That's not going to work then. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Mad at you. Thank everyone on YouTube, everyone on Twitch, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. I hate that I have to work on Saturdays because this is a good day for streaming normally. <laughs> I would love to continue doing this, but job sucks. All right, do I want to make a roll to see who my next boss would have been? I kind of want to. 
for what I have been playing on. It would have been the rock cast again. Cool. <laughs> Which boss would it have been? We would have been going to the Gal Griffin. Oh, that would have been fun. I don't think I... Do I have CCA unlocked on my raw cast? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't kick ass at work. If I kick ass, that means I'm moving too much and therefore I probably will contaminate the product. The people that don't know about my job, I work in the pharmaceutical industry. I work uh, doing uh, vaccine and medicine related shit. Um, that's just a really fancy way to say that I watch liquid go from one bag to another bag while wearing a very hot fucking jumpsuit because we need to make sure that we don't contaminate the outside of the tubing. Fucking stupid. <laughs> your dream job yeah I mean, it would the job wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for the fact that the rooms are almost the same heat as the fucking human body temperature have you ever had to sit and sweat in a room for almost seven straight hours no bathroom break no water it's sweating your ass off wearing two layers of polyester in a room that's just like fucking 80 fucking degrees fahrenheit or 27 ish degrees celsius i don't know just it's it's not good it's not good, it's fucking... Yes, if you have to use the restroom a lot, you're gonna suck at this job. Because not only do you have to sit in that room aseptically, uh, the nearest bathroom is about a 10 minute walk away. It's quite a big beard. Thank you. I like my beard. I like growing it out. I'm losing the hair on my head, so I have to compensate, you know? <laughs> All that's what is I won't have to pee. <laughs> I mean, fair, but also I don't have a trace of liquid in my in the rest of my body. Specifically, my mouth, which I need to use to talk because I have to train the new employees now. I have been certified as a coach, which is just fancy saying I can sign their paperwork whenever they need to do something they're not used to doing. <clears throat> huh. I'm gonna write down this boss combination we're doing. <coughs> the next one is raw cast. To the Gal Griffin. <coughs> there we go. And that'll be the next boss I fight. Next time I need to load up single player. That's my alarm. Can you talk even the same? <laughs> I'm sorry, George, that's the context of that question. Yes, I can talk in the suit, but no, we don't use walkie talkies unless the client watching us make their medicine is available because they aren't allowed in the room. They have to watch from the window. They watch us like we're in a fucking zoo. <laughs> And then they have to talk to us through these walkie-talkies, which, if you're further than three feet away, you can't hear a fucking thing. My next available stream session, I will hopefully be getting tomorrow at the same time I began today. So roughly around uh, 11 a.m. CST, Central Standard Time. I've been trying to make that my consistent start time because on my four day work week, I have to start 11 a.m. and I have to quit at 1 p.m. Speaking of which, it's time to quit. <laughs> but uh, my weekends are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I plan to do longer streams, like eight to 10 hours maybe. Um, and I'm hoping at, at least at some point in the future, I can do more than just PSO because I would like to play some Monster Hunter. I would like to dabble in some Pokemon maybe. I'm going to need a break from PSO at some point. But right now, I'm on this fucking PSO hype train. Let's go. <laughs> Let's check real quick of your hue cat. Not good, no, I'm, uh... All right, you know what? Fine, I'll humor you. I'll humor you. I'll be late to work today, because I don't give a fuck. My supervisor is on vacation. No, I actually do care. I, I, I just have to... 
Uh, Alright, here's my new cast. Are you happy, Sonica? You have my hue cast. But yes, so next available streaming session, I try to stream every single day. There will be a day where I will not be able to stream and I don't know the best way to tell people because I don't have a good social media platform. I don't go on Twitter. I don't, or X, excuse me. I don't go on X. I don't go on Bluebird. I don't go on the other Twitter clones. Um, I only have my Discord and I hardly ever talk in it. I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to be more social and active and tell people what to do or what, what I do when I do stuff. <laughs> but man, let's call you before you stream. Uh, George, no. I am an equal opportunist. If you are in the Discord and you see the ping, then you can watch the stream. No other way. <laughs> that means I have to ban you, George. I'm sorry. Are you too late? Yes, unfortunately, I have to get going for work. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow, hopefully. If, if everything goes well, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll do a longer stream and you can catch me and it'll hopefully be a long day and it'll be fun. We're kind of fun. So I gotta get going to work. It's actually getting late. I don't want to be too late. So thanks everyone for stopping by. This is great. I love you all. Not really. Uh, platonically, this is going to be a very awkward uh, VOD for people to watch. I gotta get going to work. Toddles. I've been meaning to. It's been just... <laughs>